Hello YouTube, it is Champion DJK coming at you again with another weekly episode. And again, I've got stuff to share with you per usual. So, I got some cool stuff today. Uh, really blown away uh, by J-Car Diecast's new exclusive. Uh, this thing is fantastic. I uh, messaged him just saying, hey, do you want to send me one for a video? Uh, obviously, you don't have to, um, but it would be awesome if you would. And he didn't respond, and then all of a sudden I got a sh tracking notification from him uh, that they shipped, and then he messaged me back saying, hey, I threw a surprise in there for you. So he did send me, the, of course, the standard issue exclusive here, which is pretty awesome in and of itself. And then... The dude sends me, dude sends me the ultra red. So, J Car Diecast, thank you very, very much uh, for this pair of awesome trucks. And he also sent um, two stickers along with, and one of them's holographic, and one of them is standard. Those are cool too. Uh, so this is just excellent stuff. Nuclear Minds Design did the packaging for this. Um, their like uh, packaging style for these Auto World exclusives that I've seen them all put out have been just really fantastic. Uh, these come with like the Johnny Lightning uh, collector tin, which is uh, pretty neat too. Um, the shipping container, so of course Auto World exclusive, pretty cool. So it's another square body. So I know inevitably some of you will will kind of scoff at that because it's a square body, but uh, this one looks really good so i am stoked on these can we get a thumbnail is this good for a thumbnail yeah maybe that'll be good all right that's always fun all right so that's awesome we're going to open those up i am going to open them up i'm actually not sure what they're limited to because it doesn't i don't think it says on the the packaging i know they're not made in massive numbers though and the other interesting thing about it is he didn't do like a pre-order for it as far as i understand so they just came out and they were available and uh so you can get them on his website recommend doing that i think there's going to be some other hobby dealers that are whole that he uh, sold wholesale to uh that will also be carrying them so you have a chance to get them if you have a favorite hobby dealer uh pick it up from them or you know whatever but j car diecast thank you very much for the support for the channel i really do appreciate it um so but i'm stoked i'm stoked to get into those um and then we got some other round two stuff which is actually fantastic we've got some other stuff that i got from sc diecast which is uh, my local hobby dealer um they do get some johnny lightning in occasionally and stuff like that so they do a lot of green light they do some johnny lightning they get some auto world in sometimes too uh but we got two zingers here this is from um street freaks 2021 release three so they're late to showing up there's some distribution issues of course um that are related to supply chain issues but we got two zingers and i'm normally not a zinger collector i'm still on the fence about whether or not i'm going to pick up all of these but uh we got a 73 plymouth roadrunner and we got a 1981 chevy silverado 10 fleet side now the reason why of course i picked these up is because we got a square body down there that's an auto road casting and then this roadrunner i believe is also an auto world casting so had to pick them up um and you're going to see the common theme here we also have two we got i picked up the classic gold series uh what is this um release four for 2020 classic gold 2021 classic gold um so i picked up these i picked up four cars from the set and I'm seeing if I'm missing any that I would have gotten. Uh, there is a Lotus Esprit in the set that might have been cool to pick up. The other one was a Chevy Bel Air, but I got four of them. They only had the version B cars. We got the 2012 Chevy Corvette and the 1970 Mercury Cougar. And again, uh, I believe these are both Auto World Deluxe castings. So that's why I scooped these up. Now these I'm definitely going to kind of go after all of them. Because the toolings are really awesome. And uh, they are true 164 scale because they were auto world castings before they became johnny lightning castings now they're going to be tooled the base is going to be tooled for like the standard johnny lightning tires so those aren't quite to scale but um but anyway you get the idea so these are really cool i am stoked to take a look at these i have the the regular deluxe counterparts we can take a look at and compare um and then i picked up two these two are new castings this one we've seen already 
a couple of times. I think at least we saw it in a two pack. It came out in stores. It's also been an Auto World exclusive. This is the RX7 from uh, Johnny Lightning. And then we've got this one's the first one I've had so far of this. This is the 1983 Ford Ranger XL. And this is a brand new tooling for Johnny Lightning. Uh, they've released a store exclusive. There'll be a few more of these coming out in different releases. Um, but pretty awesome tooling there. And I believe that Johnny Lightning now is trying to get closer to the, the actual 164 scale range. And I believe they did with this Ranger, although it looks about not too much longer than the RX-7. So I'm not really sure. I know the Ranger was kind of a small truck. I actually owned a Ford Ranger at one point. It was in 1991. Bought it for 500 bucks back in the day. Um, it had 250,000 miles on it, but the thing still ran. It was awesome. I missed that truck, actually. Its name was Arthur. All right. Anyway, uh, then we've got, let's see, a couple of things I found at the local meet. I found two super treasure hunts at the local diecast meet. I got the uh, two Audis, actually, this one. In this one so funny stories i'm like hey how much are your supers he's like they're various prices i'm like how much is the audi and i was i meant to say this i meant this one and he goes oh it's 15 bucks i'm like 15 dollars that's a very good price and uh he's like oh you want the blue one i meant this one's 15 bucks i'm like okay um all right how much is this one this one's 20. so i ended up scooping up both of them because i I already have this one, but for $15, I don't know. This is like one of my favorite Supers of all time. I have a carded one now. I don't know what I'll do with it. I'll probably end up trading it or whatever, but um, I have this Audi Super. I think it's a beautiful one. And now I have this one, and I got these on the cheap. At least what I would consider uh, very inexpensive compared to going to eBay and stuff like that. Aside from finding them in the store, I mean, you're not going to get them much cheaper than that. All right, and then I got a couple of Matchbox here we'll take a look at. These I got from my buddy Crazy Todd at the local meet. All Porsches. Some older Matchbox. Uh, we'll open up those. And then I've got um, two sets from Hot Wheels. Uh, one of them is these, like, exotic car. I don't even know what the title of this set is but this i just found at walmart um what is the title of the set it shows up in the themed releases at walmart so like the, the ones that are a little bit extra money i think than a regular mainline uh but usually the graphics are real solid on them it's not a super attractive set but it's got some cool cars in it you got a porsche in there uh you got an acura nsx you got a mclaren uh p1 mustang uh, Koenigsegg, I think that's all of them, right? Uh, but yeah, there's that. So that's showing up at Walmart's now. And then I got this set from someone that was selling them at the meet. And apparently, I don't know where this has been showing up. This never showed up in my area. And I think a lot of people were wondering what the heck happened to this set. Uh, but this is a, I think it's another supposed to be themed release. There's five cars in it. And I'm guessing it was supposed to be sold at Walmart. I don't know where else it's found around the world, but uh, I mean, in, this set's probably found somewhere else around the world too, but in the States, it's Walmart, probably Canada as well. Uh, but this, more exotic cars, and this is really cool. It's got a Bugatti uh, Veyron in it. Uh, so that is really neat. That casting, I don't think has been used too many times. And this is the latest version of that casting. The Veyron, and then we've got a McLaren Senna, a Porsche 918 Spider, a Lamborghini, and a Dodge Challenger SRT Demon. This must be like a quarter drag strip series or something, because it shows them on a drag strip in the card art. But we'll open up those as well. So that's pretty much what I've got uh, to share with you. Pretty, pretty cool stuff actually. So we got some stuff from Mattel. We got some stuff from Ron too. And, you know, we got a Super Treasure Hunt. That's always cool. Ultra Red, that's always cool. And then, um, you know, it's actually, it's been a couple episodes since I've opened an Ultra Red on the channel. What's happening? We're going to have to, hopefully this will start a trend for the weeks to come. But very excited about that. Thanks again, J-Car Dadcast. All right, let's flip the camera around. Let's take a closer look at the J-Car trucks. And let's get into the rest of this stuff. Stay tuned. Okay, so we have to start with these amazing J Car Diecast Auto World Square Body pickups. And they are 
sweet. I love the color combination that's going on here. I think that looks absolutely fantastic. So great choice from J-Car. Um, I don't know if this Beats is Pink with Black Flames released. I really loved that one. Love, love, love that one. And But this one is super cool too. So he's done, I think, I want to say he's done four exclusive Auto World truck releases. Has been involved in four at least. I think one was a CS Customs one. So he did the Golf one in blue, and then the regular one in blue, and then the lifted Golf ones he did, and then, of course, the pink the pink with black flames one is just totally sick. If you can find those still, uh, pick those up. And then this one is absolutely awesome as well. It's fantastic. So you get two different types of stickers here. I believe he sells a bundle on his website too, where you can get like the art, like an artwork poster kind of thing. Um, so that's kind of neat too. The, the artwork is pretty awesome. Nuclear Minds Design does a fantastic job of um, doing the artwork for these and various other like exclusives for people. Ah, take a little sip of coffee. All right, then let's get into these. So again, J Car Diecast. Check them out. We'll take a look at the back here. So I don't Digital C10. So this must be. A collaboration effort. I'm not really sure, to be honest, who these guys are. Um, we check them out. I'll have to check them out as well. Uh, J Card Diecast, though, of course, we're familiar with, and the Nuclear Minds Design uh, did the artwork for it, and it's absolutely fantastic. All right, so let's get into it now. Uh, we're gonna open it up. And it comes with a collector tin. So you see these on Johnny Lightning packages, these collector tins. And this one is done up as a shipping container. Really cool. Definitely digging that. That's pretty awesome. It actually comes with that tin. I'm sure that's extra money to get produced. Um, and still, these are pretty reasonably priced. So. Uh, very, very cool. All right. And then we get the truck itself. So there you go. I'm going to set this packaging aside. I'm not sure if the bubble will fit in the collector tin. I'm going to check that out actually real quick. That would be kind of a cool thing. And it doesn't. But yeah, it sort of does. You could actually store the, the vehicle in like this, I think. Let's try it. I know I'm like, paying attention to the packaging right now more than the truck. Look at that. Oh, we got to put it like this. It's, pretty, it's nestled in there pretty good. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but it like fits in there perfect. So, it's cool. You could actually display it almost like this, stack them on top of each other. Cool hidden little feature of the packaging, guys. Digging that, so we're gonna leave that like that. Of course, this will end up going on display in my room, so it won't be in this box anyway, but you know, you never know. You gotta move, you gotta do something, you gotta pack up your collection. It's nice to have a place to put these things you know, can keep them still in good shape. Uh, so let's take a peek at this truck. Yeah, super cool. Uh, so I like this truck. I love these wheels on this truck. These look great. These are from like the Camaro I think was the first release that they came out on um, Tooling number 49 of course we're familiar with that. That's the square body tooling from Auto World. Yes, there are many 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 of these different versions of uh, These trucks that have come out But in a sea of exclusives and all sorts of other of the trucks that have come out in stock form from Auto World There are a few that stand out and yeah, I would definitely classify this one as, a, as an attractive one and definitely one that's worth picking up if you are a square body Chevy fan. And you'd be supporting J Card Diecast, which is cool too. Uh, he's a really nice guy. Uh, I don't know who's all involved uh, you know, with him, but it's just, uh, he's a really nice guy. He's always been really cool to me. And uh, the fact that he was willing to help me out and give me not only this, but the Ultra Red, just to show you... Um, this you know to show you these trucks is just fantastic so i really do appreciate it 
Very, very cool. And I've ordered stuff from him too in the past, and he's usually got really reasonable prices on stuff. And you know, I just you know, he's one of those good guys out there. As far as like people that are you know recognized, I have like three go-to hobby dealers and stuff. And we got J Car, we've got uh, Surplus Goodies, and then of course my locals SC Diecast. The few people that have really been able to, uh, and uh, I guess Brian Mori over at uh, uh, BNB Farm Trucks has also helped me out a bit too. So, just really nice guys. So really cool. All right, N then we got of course the Chase. And this does look pretty sick with those same colors, but with an ultra red body. We get the white tires. Uh, I think the white tires actually work for this ultra red. And it looks like we have an ultra red base as well. So we're going to, of course, save on this packaging. Very cool. Truck there for a second. Put this guy, store that in there. Put that back. All right. Yeah, that's awesome. So we just freed the piece on an expensive truck right here. Uh, these are going to be pricey on the eBay for sure. Got the white tires, got the red base, ultra red body, and then of course the same design. Super, super cool. I've been able to acquire quite a few of these uh, square body ultra reds, but I am still missing a ton of them because there's so many that have been produced. And it's really hard because they, they go for a lot of money on eBay. Most of them do. Occasionally you can find them a little bit cheaper, but uh, I'm so happy that uh, Jcar hooked me up with this one. So I do not have to chase it down and worry about trying to get it. And this is definitely one I wanted, so more than some others that I kind of slack on trying to get. But these are super, super cool. All right, so J Car Diecast, check him out. Um, if you aren't familiar with who he is, um, he's on Instagram, he's on uh, Facebook, he's on, got his own website. Um, he's on TikTok, he does TikTok videos. Gets a lot of views over there on the TikTok, so uh, check him out on that. And um, yeah, overall, super cool dude. I got I had a chance actually. I met him in person um, at a Hot Wheels convention in Lombard, Illinois. I don't even know if he remembers meeting me. I'm not sure, but I but I met him. That was back before you know I never worked with him or got any stuff from him. But uh, but yeah, nice guy, cool dude. All right. Moving on from the trucks here, we're going to stick with round two. We're going to go, oh, well, I guess we're not really moving on from trucks. We got this uh, orange metallic with lime flames zinger. You guys know, dude, I've, I've mentioned this several times. I'm not like a zinger guy. Okay, there are zinger guys out there. <clears throat> Dumas. <clears throat> um, there are guys that just dig these. Oh, Radar 468, you're another guy. Digs the zingers. You guys are zinger freaks. You guys are street freaks. Zinger people. There's just a certain kind of person that likes a zinger, you know. <laughs> uh, just kidding. All right, so... Uh, there's not really much to say about this other than the fact that it's the same tooling. I don't know if I'm going to go after all of these. There's, there's some hobby exclusives now of this one as well in the zinger format. I just, you know... Like I said, the Zinger thing, I don't really care for it too much. I wish, however, that even though they put the Zinger chassis on this, I wish they would have um, put a hood on these models and not the blown engine. Because you know what would happen then? I'd be base swapping these trucks. I'd be getting other trucks, I'd be base swapping them and bringing them back down to normal uh, ride height. I mean, you could still do it with these. It's just then you'd have that big engine sticking out. It'd be so cool if I could make these into like normal auto world trucks by getting rid of the base. Maybe that's sacrilege to some of you Johnny Lightning Zinger people, but uh, that would be something I would like to do. <laughs> I might base swap some of them down anyway, even without the hood. Just leave the blown motor in there and check her out. All right, and then uh, we got 
this fella right here, the 1973 Plymouth Roadrunner. This is a very popular casting from Auto World, a desirable casting that's only been released a couple times. Um, people go nuts, especially over the first release of it. I mean, it's kind of a niche collect collector market on this truck, but it is definitely one that is favored among Auto World collectors. And now we get to see it as a zinger. So this one again, I'd be base. Well, I probably wouldn't be base swapping because the regulars of these uh, Roadrunners are pretty expensive. Actually, I believe yeah, this is a uh, Auto World tooling. I think this is the Auto World tooling. I know that Johnny Lightning probably did one of these Roadrunners as well, but I'm pretty sure yeah, this has got to be the the uh, the Auto World tooling. So again, I mean, it's a zinger, but it's Auto World. Uh, I had to get, I, mean, I, I know at least what I'm going to do for sure is at least get one example of all the Auto World tunes that they put out as zingers. Um, I will have to at least do that. I don't know if I'm going to go after every single one. Like I said, I don't have a ton of room in the collection for these things. I collect already too much different stuff and just to add a zinger collection now to the, the thing it would just not be that great. Again, I would love to base swap these things, though. That would be fantastic. All right. Next, uh, we got some more Johnny Lightning slash Auto World stuff. Let's do the Corvette. Now, these deluxe castings that have been rebirthed into the uh, Johnny Lightning line are a different story. I may try to get all of these as they come out and collect these castings. Because I loved the deluxe castings from Auto World. I thought they were awesome. Of course, the only thing that they were missing was, you know, the rubber tires. They had kind of generic wheels. Now, we'll have to take a look and see what we like better. But uh, this is pretty awesome. This one in Velocity Yellow. Uh, in the classic gold series of Johnny Lightning. Uh, 2012, of course, Chevy Corvette Z06. So this casting only before this has only been used one time in Auto World Deluxe Release One. It's the only time it's ever been used. So there's two. There's a blue one and a white one, and of course the Ultra Red that had come out. Uh, so from the factory, the 2012 Corvette Z06, top speed exceeding 200 miles an hour. I did not know that from 2012 from a 2012 Corvette. Really? The thing could go 200 miles an hour? I guess so. All right. So, classic gold. This whole set is actually just a solid set. I'm having a hard time now because Johnny Lightning is putting out so much good stuff. I'm going to have to start picking up some more of it. Um, I love, like, older Johnny Lightning and stuff like that when I find that. I usually pick those up, but... They've been putting out a lot of good stuff lately. So here's our brand, sort of brand new tooling. It's really not a brand new tooling. It's a brand new tooled base to fit the uh, Johnny Lightning wheels. Um, you'll see the tooling number on here is 164004JL. So that's basically saying it's the 004 Auto World tooling, uh, but it's the JL version, which is uh, this base, basically basically and then uh here is the auto world counterpart this is the one that was released in deluxe with these wheels right here i actually wouldn't mind if they reused these wheels on some stuff for johnny lightning this of course has a plastic base so very similar tooling design and all that stuff except for just the, this one's metal of course and i think it has a little bit more room for the wheels because these are a little bit skinny. So pretty basic, just silver up there for the, the headlights on this one, and uh, just red back there for the, the taillights. So let's see if they add a little bit more detail. Taillights not quite as crisp on this particular example. Noticing that. You do get a plate with this one, the Velocity, California plate. And then, of course, you get the striping, and you get a little bit more detail up in the headlight area. So either way, very, very cool. To, I just like that these castings are getting used um, because I always thought they were pretty awesome. Not quite enough room for this rubber tire in here. This thing doesn't uh, roll super well. Not that that really should matter. Sitting pretty good, though. This one, of course, rolls really well on these plastic wheels. Stance is a bit better on this one. I don't know. Maybe the wheels look a little bit better on this, on the Auto World version, though. 
You guys let me know what you think. I like them both, so very, very cool. All right, next up is going to be another one. This is the uh, 1970 Mercury Cougar Eliminator. This is in competition gold, limited to 14,000 pieces. They might as well, they could probably stop doing this now. Once we get up into this number, one of 14,788. I love the fact that they're getting popular enough again now, or they're, they're putting these in big numbers, but you maybe don't have to put the number there if there, there's that many made. Just, just a thought. I know numbers have been kind of a hot topic, especially if you read Lamley's article on RLC and why he thinks they shouldn't be numbered and all that jazz. Kind of an interesting read. Um, so, Mercury Cougar Eliminator. Looks pretty good. I like these wheels on it. So here's the Auto World version of it. This is without the spoiler. Now they have released this car. This, the Cougar, I think has been in a couple of releases if I'm remembering correctly. It was in the Deluxe 2 and then it was in the 2017 Deluxe series. So it just enjoyed four different colors and uh, of course a couple Ultra Reds. I don't think it's ever come out with the, the spoiler on it though. So I think that's a new thing for the Johnny Lightning tooling. As you can see, they're the same. It looks like the hood would open on these, but it doesn't. It's a different tooled hood, too. So, let's look for the casting number on it. Yeah, it says 164-021JL. And this is, of course, 164-021. 021A, uh, actually. So, I think they were planning on... They probably had all this tooled actually already. They just hadn't released it. So very cool there. I don't know what the version B color is, but uh, I'll definitely be scooping it up. So there you go. All right. So Johnny Lightning Auto Worlds. And then we got some just original new Johnny Lightning toolings. Of course, the RX-7, which we've seen a couple of times. This one in gold, or to be specific, it's in Maya gold metallic really cool casting although i will say this i love this casting although it is i've noticed plagued with some issues i've seen a lot of these where the base is not quite uh on proper you can see how it's poking out of the bottom here a little bit you can see that gap you can see right through to the other side i don't think that's supposed to be there um, so there's some issues, I think, with assembling this piece for whatever reason. It's got little skinny tires that work, look awesome. This thing has an opening hood, I believe. Which way does it open? Um, yeah, that way. So it's a, it's a fantastic tooling. I just think uh, they got to fix a couple production issues uh, with it on the line where the base isn't quite sitting proper. This one looks pretty good. It's not leaning anyway. And that You'd see a lot of them that are leaning. Uh, this one's not leaning, and it just seems like the back of the base isn't quite down all the way because I think this should be completely hidden under the body, the side of the base piece. So maybe its stance is a little bit high in the back. almost looks like it has a slight rake. Uh... But it does look good, and it is a fantastic casting, and it's true in 64 scale, at least in its uh, the body size. Probably the wheels, too, actually, for this one. And then this casting, I was really excited to take a look at. This is the Ford Ranger, and this is pretty awesome. This one's in dark spruce slash white. I'll likely get the alternate color for this one as well. Limited to 15,000 pieces. Really cool Ranger. I do miss my... Oh, this one's got a tailgate that folds down. It's also got, I'm assuming, an opening hood. Yeah, buddy. Opening hood. We got details all around. Really nice release from Johnny Lightning. So, yeah, I'm definitely digging that, too. 
That is fantastic. Really, really cool. What do you guys think about this new tooling? I know a lot of people were kind of like, why are you putting new toolings up for Giant Lightning? You should put more new toolings out in Auto World. But you got to understand, to keep Auto World, Auto World, um, they need to continue to be consistent uh, with what they're doing with that, which is basically true 164 scale factory colors. Of course, the hobby exclusives can get a little nutty. But if they want a little bit more freedom with what they want to do with the tooling and what different series they want to put it in, what kind of different graphics they want to do, all sorts of stuff like that. Um, they can release it into Johnny Lightning and do some different stuff with it. And it seems too that Johnny Lightning shows up a lot more in stores than the Auto World stuff does. So maybe they sell better. I, I don't know. I mean, I don't have the sales numbers. Of course, you guys know my favorite thing is Auto World, my favorite brand. That's why I want to see more and more toolings come out as Auto World. But I mean, if Johnny Lightning is going to do like 164 scale, like true 164 scale proportions, at least on the body, like the wheels don't have to matter all that much. They just have to look good. But having this 164 scale situation with the body and trying to make them that way, I don't care. They put as many toolings as you want. As long as they're cool, I'm going to pick them up. So that's why I said Johnny Lang has just been kind of on fire lately with stuff that they've been putting out. So at least I think so. All right, let's free the piece on a super treasure hunt. Shifting gears here to Mattel product for the rest of the video. And we got to kind of go through these a little bit fast. Um, but let's do this. I can't find the regular. I don't know what the heck I did with it. I can't find it. I don't know where I put my regular version of this car, so I can't compare it. I'm pretty sure I have one. Uh, ooh, well, we just free the piece. It's from M Case for 2020, 2020, 2020, or 2021. I don't, 2021, I think. I don't know. I can't keep track of them. I just remember I really wanted this one. This is the first Super Treasure, and I think with these wheels, and that's why I really wanted it. And it looks absolutely fantastic. It really does. Um, definitely digging it. So pretty basic. We got uh, just the front end detail, which looks good. We got uh, rear end detail. And then, of course, we got the TH logo right there. And the Spectra Flame Blue with Real Rider tires. That's a sick looking car. Uh, I really dig it. All right, Spider. Not as cool as that Quattro Ultra Red, but I, like I said, I already have one of those, so we're not going to open up another one. Oddly, I'm tempted to. I don't know why. I'm tempted to actually just keep that one and hoard it away somewhere, because for some reason, I don't know, it just strikes me as a beautiful looking car. All right, so let's stick with Hot Wheels for a little bit, and let's get into the set. Um, so we've got five cars in each one of these sets actually so we'll start with these drag strip ones we got uh, McLaren Senna in yellow again no idea where you can find these I had the guy that sold them at my meet I think he had like a set or two uh, sold them for I think it was like 15 bucks a set it's like three bucks a car whatever it is what it is I am sure they're like two dollars in the store actually if they are that themed release so we get another color of the Senna, pretty cool casting, definitely a hard one to pull off in a dollar model car because of all the crazy details that are in the real car. The King right now obviously is still mini GT with this car and putting out uh, their version of it. It's cool, but for a dollar model, I mean, Hot Wheels did a pretty good job for a buck. I mean, what are you going to do? You got one body piece to work with, one, you know interior piece and one glass piece and then of course a base and wheels and that's all you got I mean, you can't do anything else and that's you know this is i'm sure whoever designed the tooling for this kind of it was probably a headache to try to do i can only imagine just because of the way that the the real car is and all the little in, in, you know crazy little details uh, to it intricacies is that the word i'm looking for um uh, but yeah there's that. All right, the uh, Porsche 918 Spyder in green. 
pretty basic. Pretty cool nonetheless. Decent looking. Looks all right in green. I don't know. Not bad. I always thought this car's stance was a little weird. Uh, this casting in particular. How it's got a wheel gap up there, and then the, here it does not. Is that the weight of the engine, or is it supposed to look like it's like taken off? But it's probably an all-wheel drive Porsche, I would assume. Or likely it is something. I don't know. I don't know. I guess I really don't know. It just looks weird. Kind of like... It's almost uh, gasserized. Ever so slightly. There's that one. Lamborghini Aventador Mura Homage. This is cool because it's another Mura Homage. So the reason why this looks neat is because it's got like Mura colors. So it's the orange with the gold under there. Um, so they're... I don't have a... The only Mura I'd have in this color would probably would be a Kyosho. I'm not sure if I have one in orange actually probably do got I have a few of them I think but anywho and how it looks pretty good not as cool as the red one looked when they put that one out with the super treasure hunt but uh, pretty nice little basic model and then uh, the Dodge Challenger SRT Demon kind of like a battleship gray Looks pretty good. Not bad at all. Um, I think this is the one I still would like to get the uh, the red super treasure hunt of this casting. I have the gold one. I don't have the red one. I would like to get that one. That looks pretty good. And then uh, we get uh, the Bugatti Veyron. 16.4. And there's that in black. That looks pretty awesome, actually. <laughs> like the orange wheels, orange stripes, black. I mean, that looks that looks pretty good. I like it. So that's really cool there. All right, and then moving on, we got the latest set that you can find. These are all right. I don't. I'm not sure I'm a big fan of the graphics on these. They have uh, they all have numbers on the side. But Koenigsegg, Jesco, McLaren P1, kind of blazing through these. You guys should see these in your Walmart. They should be fairly easy to pick up. The pegs were stocked full of these and I don't think it's going to be like a terribly popular set uh, people that are fans of like the exotic cars will pick them up but nobody's going to be like hoarding multiple copies of these I don't think it's 17 accurate and sex there's no like car in here that like people are going to be like well I need to pick up every single one I see so that I can resell them later I don't think they're that going to be going on with this set the NSX looks pretty nice so there's that one. Um, the Mustang. That's an, I don't know, kind of an ugly color green. I mean, I think they're pretty cool. But, uh, eh, they're so-so, I guess. And then, of course, my favorite probably of the bunch is going to be a Porsche. Good old 911. In yellow. So, uh, I think that other little hypercar set that we looked at was cooler than this set. That's well, not a terrible set. It's pretty decent, basic cars. So, there you have that. All right. And then, the last thing we're going to look at is just those, real quick, some Porsches from Matchbox. probably going to open these up and then when I put them away I'm probably going to find that I already have a couple of them but here is the 2007 Porsche 911 Matchbox Adventure City this is from probably 2013 I gather I 
pretty neat looking Porsche. And then the Porsche 911 Turbo. This one is probably from about 2007-ish. Kind of just blazing out. Um, so pretty cool. Older Matchbox stuff. I say older, but you know, whatever in that kind of mid 2000s era. And then these 914s are from, I think they're both from around like 2010, 2011 ish. That guy, I'm gonna open both of them up. Pretty basic. One's in orange and one's in green. One's in orange with a Porsche logo and one's in green. Chrome interiors on both of them. They have to do the chrome interior because it's actually part of the bumpers or the front end or grill or whatever you want to call it. The front piece, back piece. This one's got a lot more detail. You get the t uh, taillights on this one and some markers up front for the headlights. This one you get the side tampo action that you don't have on that one. Plastic top. Actually, the whole yeah, the whole top is plastic, including the window. So this is a, uh, it's not one piece though. It looks to be two. I think it's two pieces. Well, maybe it's not. Maybe it is one piece. Yeah, I guess it is one. Well, I don't know. Yeah, it's one piece. It looks like they just like painted black where the roof is in an orange. Pretty cool little tooling digging it and then of course these to Porsches all right that's gonna be it for this episode I just want to again thank of course J car diecast for these uh, just fantastic trucks I really do appreciate it again working with the little guy I, you know here on YouTube it's just a uh, very uh, very thankful um, that he sent me these so all right thank you guys very much again for watching another lengthy episode of diecast weekly i will check you know hopefully you'll, you'll check out the next one you know hopefully you'll subscribe comment like you know all that good stuff that we that i you know the obligatory mention at the end of every video uh so if you made it here i guess you're gonna hear that um yeah and that's going to be it all right so thank you guys again very much thanks jay car diecast you guys have a great day